Hello, Nelson. Hello, teacher. Good Hi, evening. Hello. Uh, Happy fine. Monday. Very good. Hi. Hi. Hi, Jordana. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. What about you? Thank you. I'm fine, thank you. Good. How was your weekend? Nice. It was really good. Yes. Nice. What did you two do? I watched Netflix. <laughs> what are you watching on Netflix right now? Um, the last one that we saw was Lup Lup Lupin. Uh, Lupin. Lupin. Yeah, Lu yeah, Lupin. Did you like yeah. it? Yes, it's interesting. It was really short, actually. I thought it was going mm. to be a bit longer, but uh, it's just five episodes. Yeah, it's like five or six. I, I thought it was okay. I mean, many people say like, wow, it's so good, but it's all right. It's entertaining. Yes. Yes, that's the one. And I also liked anime. So I watched oh, okay. Spirited Away. Oh, okay. Yes. Nice. That's really nice. Good. What about you, Nelson? What did you do on the weekend? Uh, many things. Did you because uh, uh, firstly, uh, in general, it was, a, it was amazing because uh, um, Yesterday uh, it was um, my my daughter's birthday. Oh, congratulations! We, uh, we were we were celebrating all day. Thank you. And then uh, I celebrate the 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 winner of championship and uh, soccer of of Alianza soccer. Because uh, yes, I am a fan. Uh, oh wow! Congratulations! Yes, uh, very good. Very good. <laughs> I you. am an Aguila fan, but Alianza deserve to win. They they deserve to yeah. win. <laughs> they played much better, more goals. It's fair. They all right. Nice. Hello, Ricardo. How are you? How was okay. your weekend? Sorry. <laughs> Hello, fine. This is what's a, a, a more faithful because we have a, took a, a rest in the old weekend. So uh, the, I, go, I went out uh, to have a dinner for my family on Sunday. Uh, and it's a, so it's a faithful weekend for me. Nice. And where did you go have dinner? Uh, the the Ch Chinese food in the Royal Royal Restaurant. Okay, nice. All right, cool. Good. I I, I, I want to prove the 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 test the the reinita. I don't. I I remember you recommend oh, us about yeah. the reinita. <laughs> I, want the next, I, I want, want to try. I want to try. I want to try to to eat the next time. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Remember, it's good. Yeah. All right. Hi, Carla. How are you? How was your weekend? Hi, everyone. Good evening. I, it was very good. Thank you. Did you rest? Um. No, I work at home. Uh, I paint some walls. Mm, that kind of job. But it was good. A different thing to do. All right, nice. That's productive. All right. Jaime, how are you, sir? Hello, Jaime? Hello. Sir, how are you? Fine. How's your weekend? Mm, was uh, was good. Uh, I was resting at home. Uh, uh, finishes some activity that they need to to complete. Uh, that uh, I have enough to do. But uh, and the rest of the time I was was stressed. I was at home resting alone. Uh, that's that's good. Okay. Let me write this before I forget I was resting. Okay. 
Thank you, Ruth. How was your weekend? Um, my weekend is, was very nice. I visited my grandma, grandmother. With or and without your boyfriend? No. <laughs> without. Without uh, my. <laughs> yes. All right. Yes. All right. Nice. Nice. When you go with your boyfriend, it's because it's serious now. <laughs> yeah. But not for. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Hello, Rosalena. How are you? How was your weekend? Ah, uh, very nice. I rest alone. I mean, a lot. I That's was good. To, the, to the beach. I, I had, went to the beach. I went to the, the beach and I had a little five years without going to the to the beach. Really? Five years yeah. without going to the beach? At least. <laughs> wow, at that's a I lot. Could, at the end, I could go. Yeah, nice. Why so long? You know, you're not a beach person? No, I am a beach person, but I have had time enough to go to spend a, a day for me, but it was very interesting. Oh, that's good. That's nice. And Ingrid, how was your weekend? Fine, but it, it's funny, it funny weekend. No, funny weekend. it was very fast. I needed to rest more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's always yeah, short. I, I had to work. Oh, you did? Until Saturday after after lunch, and I and I had to work in my house. It's a big problem. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> because I I I wanted to sleep, and I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And and, um, and, and now I went to another interview. You went to another interview today. Yeah. I were, you, were you You're getting interviewed? What? You are you are looking for a new job? Yeah, because in this one I really like the the, the stuff that I'm doing, but I don't have benefits. Mm -hmm. And it's a in a man it's a manager position and the the and the responsibility more, and, and more money and more money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because um the responsibility is not according to the to the salary. Okay. That's mm -hmm. that's important. Yeah, and I don't have benefits. I don't have social security or something like that. You don't have uh, benefits like, like uh, social security? Yeah. No, no, I don't have it. Uh, yeah, it's different. This, so, yeah. You, so you work freelance? I was working, but I decided to work again and, and work in my business in parallel because the pandemic hit me very 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 hard of course but, yeah my economic my my finance were very hit so so i needed to to find another solution that was work in human resources i, I have an experience in that and and this position is 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 hard but the the pay is and and the benefits are better yeah. Another what, what, issue that is I, I don't I that is I'm uh, working in a family business so that is that complicated. <laughs> so complicated. Yeah, so complicated. So I prefer uh, being in a corporate institution because it's it's the, I don't know how to say ordenado. Organized. Organized for that oh. and and. and this that that is another advantage to work oh, in a in a big nice. organization but my project with the business is is um um there is a a fact but we are working with a friends two associates and with my mother i have a, we have another project too nice yeah mm. because nice. I, I the the things that i really want is is have my own business but in this moment, I, I have to be um, honest with me and, and, 
and organize me better. I have to be honest with myself. Myself in this moment. Okay. Well, you you look like a smart woman and I know that you take the best decisions. So good luck. Okay. Um, Thanks. Okay, no problem. Class, I noticed that I asked a lot of you, what did you do on the weekend? <clears throat> and um, many of you answered me like, um, I was resting, I was... When, when it's a simple question, answer simple past. Like, I rested. I relaxed. I watched movies. You know, simple past. Just... Mm -hmm. Okay, do you understand? Just simple past. Like, I went to the beach. Uh, I had dinner with my family. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. All right. Okay. So the majority of people are here. Hi, Grace. How are you? Hi. Hi. Ruth, what are you eating? It looks good. <laughs> no, I'm sick. I am drinking uh, Tolchuco. <laughs> Oh, really? You're eating chuco? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's delicious. <laughs> you know, chuco is so good, but only if it's made good. Because <laughs> not everybody can make it. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes you buy chuco and it's like ugly. It's like, oh, this is. I am you. It's better than five <laughs> at 5 p.m. Sorry. Um, there's this really famous old lady. She 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 lives well. She sells chuco by San Marcos. I don't know if you've seen her on TV, but man, it's good. It's the best chuco. The best chuco is made in San Miguel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, no, that's the only thing I did not like about San Miguel. I did not like the chuco. <laughs> it, it was sweet. I love the pupusas. I love everything except chuco. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to share my screen with you. Tell me if you could see it, please. Let me see. Uh, oh, before we start, Ingrid, do you know when to use... I mm. and myself. Ah, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I remember the movie of Jim Carrey. <laughs> Me, myself, and I. Yes. <laughs> what, do you know the difference here? Yeah, I know. <laughs> so I okay. forgot how to use it. <laughs> okay, good. Um, do you see the chat class? It says I, me, and myself. Oops. Yes, no, it's there. I know that this is some is very easy, but sometimes it can be a little bit difficult if you don't if you don't understand it. Right. Okay. Do you know? Okay, what is the difference between I and me? One is a subject and the other one is an object. Okay, so can you give me an example? For example, um, I love cats. <clears throat> and the other one could be my mom loves me. Okay. Yes, that's very good. I is when I am the subject. So I is when I do the action. When I do the action or I'm going to do the action. And me is when I receive the action. Let's say that with my mom. I am going to call my mom. What is the subject right there? I. I. I, I is going to do the action. What about if I say my mom is going to call me? What is the subject? Me. My mom. Your mom. My mom. And who is the object? Me. me. All right. Good. So then that's the difference between I and me. I is when I do, me is when I receive. What is myself? 
A reflexive pronoun. Okay, and when do we use a reflexive pronoun? I think when we want to emphasize that something has been done by us. I don't okay. know, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll make it easier for you. Okay. My, myself is when I am the subject and I am the object. Oh, okay. <laughs> repeat, repeat, please. Myself is when I am the subject and I am the object. Like I have a hundred dollars, I am going to buy myself a watch. Mm, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you cannot say I'm going to buy me a watch. Yeah. Yeah, so you, you, that's it. So myself is a reflexive pronoun, like Michelle said, but it's when you are the subject and you are the object. And that's how it goes with he, he, him, himself, she, her, herself, we. What is the object of we? Us? No. Us, <laughs> us, us. Oh my God, I have forgotten. <laughs> We'll see that later on today um, in, in this class. Okay, do you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's listen to what she says. Compound, family terms. All right, now we're going to learn family names, family terms. All right, now we're going to understand what is concuño. <laughs> okay. Ready to learn new words? Grab a pen, paper, and take notes. Go over the family tree. You will find some compound terms which use prefixes and some others use suffixes. Now that you know more family terms, talk in class about your family tree. Don't forget to share your information on our discussion box. That was quick. Go over the family tree. Okay, um, I, don't, I, I think you pretty much understand what the family names are, right? We have yes. the grandfather, grandmother. Yes. Okay, one, one, thing, one thing I should... Um, you should know important about family names is that, for example, in Spanish, Spanish is un idioma bien machista. Y, y lo digo porque cuando uno dice mis tíos, mis abuelos, mis papás, right? Siempre nos referimos al, al, a lo masculino. Y damos a entender los dos. Incluso hasta preguntamos, ¿tiene hijos? Pero estamos dando a entender si hijas, hijos. Entonces en inglés siempre hay una palabra neutra. Okay. Sí. Ajá. Por ejemplo, empecemos como my papá, my parents. Because if you say in English, oh, my father's. People can understand something different. Like okay. maybe, I don't know, maybe he has two fathers. He, you know, his father is married and they're gay. Mm -hmm. and, and that's normal today in the United States. That's, that's something normal, you know, but and that's how people will understand my fathers. So you have two fathers. Oh, okay, I understand. No, and you're actually you're trying to say my parents. Pero como español se dice mis papás. Yeah. Okay, so my grandparents. I am saying my grandmother and my grandfather. My parents, I am saying my mother and my father. After that, I have my sister and my brother. The two are my siblings. Uh -huh. 
Yes. Do you have siblings? Yes, I have three sisters and two brothers. Do you have brothers? Yes, I have two brothers. Así lo van a tomar porque la pregunta fue bien directa. ¿Tiene hermanos? Yes, I have two. Y Claudia, nuestra hermana. Oh, no, she's my sister. She's not my brother. Oh, okay, so let me change the question. Do you have siblings? Oh, yes, I have three. I, I have five siblings. Three sisters and two brothers. All right. Okay. So after brother and sister, we have children. My children, I'm saying boy and girl. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> once again, in Spanish, preguntamos, ¿tiene hijos? Hay palabra neutra, ¿no? ¿Verdad? Mm. <clears throat> Milagro las, ¿cómo se llaman las feministas? No han sacado algo ahí como por eso. Sí, pero no, pero debería de haber una palabra neutra, pero en español es hijos. Tiene hijos, imagínese un pobre que solo tiene tres hijas. ¿Tiene, tiene tres hijos? My oh, father, my oh, father, no. uh, my father oh. has uh, three, three years that in these days. So only they are three no girls. Parker. Yeah, I, I oh. am the first of the second marriage. Okay, so imagine and, that. So yeah. Sí, tengo only bichos, <laughs> cipotes. Yeah. <laughs> and so, my brother is the last. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, but then you do have a brother. But he's the last. But the, the, my my sisters, my older sisters of the first marriage, three girls. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. And okay, I am so the fourth. You're the, you're the first. Yeah. So... So remember, so it's always in English. All, um, and the reason why I'm telling you this is because I hear a lot of people say, my fathers, my sons, and my brothers, when they refer to my parents, my children, and my siblings. Okay? Um, Rosa, Elena, are you married? Yeah. So the mother of your husband, now we're going to... Um, learn about the spouse family. So what is the mother of your husband to you? Who is she? Is my mother-in-law. Okay, she's my mother-in-law. Law. Lay, not love. Law. Say again, please. It's lay, law. 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 Okay, law. Yeah, many people confuse and many people say my mother in love. No, law. Nah. Yes, it's my mother-in-law. No, I, 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 I pronounce that, but I Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, um, it's not mother-in-law. It's law. Law. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So we have mother-in-law, sister-in-law. I'm sorry, mother-in-law, father-in-law, sister-in-law, brother-in-law. Mm -hmm. Yes? And how do you say concuño? You don't. <laughs> I, I don't. I, there's actually not. This is my wife's sister-in-law, or I, maybe maybe you can call. Well, normally, I call her my sister-in-law. Okay. For example, my wife has a brother. He is my brother-in-law. So his wife is my sister-in-law. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. Mm. Uh -huh. Or you can be more specific, technical. Oh, that's my brother's wife, <laughs> my, my brother-in-law's wife. <laughs> so that's the immediate family of your spouse. The rest, you can say my in-laws. In-laws. How do you write that? In-laws, with S at the end. L-O-S? Or double S? No, just one S. Okay.
my in-laws. Mm -hmm. Some people. Uh oh, did I stop sharing? my in-laws. So what do you do in Christmas? Oh, Christmas I spend with my family and New Year's with my in-laws. So that means that with your wife's family or your husband's family. Okay. So next we have Who has, Ingrid, I think you mentioned it. You said that your father has another marriage. The he first got married marriage. again. Okay. With my mother. <laughs> so you have a, okay, you have a brother in the second marriage. Yeah. Okay. So technically you can say he is my brother or my half brother. My half sisters, because it oh, is my, my brother. Yeah, okay. half sisters. And your father did his? Does his wife have other children? No, only the three. Uh, no, my mother, no. My only my brother and I. Okay, no, but your your um your dad, your father, he's married again, correct? Yes. <laughs> okay, but he likes. She enjoys the women. <laughs> yes. Okay, but his wife now does she have did she have different children before your father? I think um I have two more brothers and I don't okay, know good. them. <laughs> okay, but they're not your fathers, correct? Mm, for my father, but not the same mother. <laughs> oh, okay. No, okay, a lo que voy hermanastro. Ah, no, no. I don't know if I have it. <laughs> okay, but yes, um, eso se llama step. No, uh, until I know, I don't have step brothers or step okay. sisters. Oh, okay, good. Only so half. <laughs> oh, okay, so that's how you call it step mother, step father, step brother, or step sister. Eso ya son los. Astros. Don't it see uh, yeah. a step ceiling? Oh. No. No, no, it doesn't. Okay. So half brother and step brother, it's not the same. No, because half brother would be, yes, he's my he's my brother, but only from my father's side, not from my mother. Or vice versa. Uh-huh. But my stepbrother would be he's not my father's son. Uh -huh. He's he's like a son from a different marriage from my father's wife. His brother, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. I thought they were the same. Okay. Yeah, no. Um, it's example. Imagine you have a son, Jordana. You have a son. Um, yeah. example, right? And then you get married, and then your husband he has uh, another son. Another son. So then your son and his son now they are step brothers. Brothers. Okay, got it. Yeah. And you are the stepmother and he is the stepfather. Okay. All step right. Father. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. All right. Sometimes people like their step family, sometimes people don't. Right. Yeah. That's so common. <laughs> yes. I have a lot of siblings. Sometimes I forget how many I have. My father has like three or four women pregnant at the same time. Same time. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Classic yes. Salvadorian. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. My God. <laughs> 
but you know, it's not, it's not actually at, at the beginning, I would say, man, my father was terrible, but now I, I think more of how could women permit that? <laughs> yes. Right <Yeah>. now. <laughs> yeah. But, um, they, they know, but most of the time women uh, don't know about that until a few months later or years later. Yeah. Yes. So. But is there is there is a, a a common I don't know how to say it, but there is issues that you don't have that you can accept or or then that you don't want to accept. But there is indicators that the 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 relationship is insane. Of course. Right. Or there is a, another um inconsistencies. Yeah. yeah. But I think I think now it's easier than before. I mean, yeah. Yes. I mean, yes. Yes. All right. So then that's that's the family tree, right? You have your immediate family, which is your your immediate family is your parents and your and your siblings. Okay. Then you have um, your in laws. I I think I am one of the few people to say that I really 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 love my in-laws I have oh, yes the, you are I, I have the best the <laughs> best in-laws you don't oh man I love my father and mother -in -law. especially my sister-in-laws oh my god oh you don't like them they're, they're not cool no oh. we don't we don't get along oh. my my wife only has one sibling so and he's he's cool I like him so I am I am very lucky in that. You are. Yes, I'm. I'm very happy with my in-laws. And okay. um, then we have steps. The steps, right? That's like your mm. forced family. Yeah. Okay. I, I have step brothers. I think. Yeah, I think I have step. Eventually, I think I, I did have stepbrothers and I, I had a good relation with them. Okay, do you have any questions regarding family? Not yet. No. Y la mamá, <laughs> la mamá y el papá de los abuelos, ¿cómo se llaman? Great grandfathers. Grand Great. Ah, ya bien. Great grandfathers. <laughs> lo dijeron, lo dijeron. <laughs> <laughs> great grandfathers, great grandparents. Gra grandparents, yes, great grandparents, <laughs> yes. Okay, I am a great grand uncle. Great grand uncle. Because um, my mother, she had children very young, and she had me like very old, not very old, but. After 35, she had me, and she had children before 25. So then there's this big gap. So I have a sister, and my sister has a son. Yes? So then the son is my nephew. He is my nephew. But he is older than me. So my nephew had a son. So I am the great grandfather. No, I am the grand uncle. And now he has a daughter. So I, I get confused there. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I am a piano, like, what the hell am I? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, family. Okay. When you get into that list, like, uh, yes. The family and you have tree. this. Yes, God. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's just big mess. Mm -hmm. mm. And son and children, I only have one. I said son because I only have one son. And that's all I'm going to have, and that's enough. That's enough. My wife tells me I feel bad because she wanted to give a uh, sibling to my son. 
I said, don't worry. I mean, I can get them half brothers. <laughs> you can get a puppy, maybe. <laughs> no, I said to my wife because she got operated, so she can't have any more children. And I tell her, I can sacrifice my, you know, myself, and um, you know, I can look for <laughs> another person so I can give him half brothers. And for you, it's not uh, it's not an option. Um, adopt a kill. Yes, I would like to adopt. But, you know, come to think of it, um, I think I'd rather stay with one child because that way I can give him everything I can, like a good education or everything, everything that's in my possibility. And I think if I would have more children, like two or three more children, that, you know, that money has to be divided now in three. Yeah. The scholarships. Yeah, so. The university. <laughs> so I, what I want is my son, you know, so he can study outside. Yeah, that is a good option. Yeah. Prepare in a, in a bilingual college. Yes. Now, may I ask you if before the sure. pandemic, um, uh, your wife and you work outside? Yes. Okay. And how did you spend time or how much time did you spend with your child? Because I was an only child and that was kind of a loneliness that you have. In my situation, my mother is a nurse and so she was working all the time, right? And even though I have my cousins and things like that, it was not the same. So that's why I decided not to have an only child. I have oh, to. Okay. Yeah, um, I spent pretty much the whole afternoon with him. I played with him a lot and I took him to parks because... My wife How is, old is he? he's four now. He's four now. Okay. My wife is more, him. more, my wife is more like the mother type, you know, like she worries about he's clean or food, you know, like everything. Uh, yeah, and that's what we are. I am more of the let's go get dirty play type. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's see. But the good thing is that my brother-in-law, he has a son, and they are the same age. So right there, he has his, yes. like... Compliment. His cousin, yes. He will yes. look as a brother. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Interesting. So Thank you're you. an only child, Jordana? Um, my, of my mom? Yes. Okay. okay. And how many children I, do you have? I have two. Oh, okay. Nice. I think that's yeah. perfect. <laughs> yes, that's enough. Yeah, no, I'm <laughs> I'm full. <laughs> I'm yeah. busy two, all the time. <laughs> two is enough. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's do the listening. It says, listening to Victor tell a friend about his family reunion. Um, what were they celebrating at reunions? Choose the right answer. Do you like family reunions before we start? No. <laughs> yes, I do. I do. Yeah. With my family. <laughs> no, mm. my aunts ask me, when are you going to marry? <laughs> Where, oh, how about being a single mother? And oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. I like, I like to spend time with my wife's family. They are cool, but not with my family. <laughs> <laughs> the family reunions. Yes, Ingrid, and when are you getting married? And the boyfriend and this and that. And... Yeah. yeah, I remember that. You are very um, exigente. How do you say exigente? I don't know how to say it. <laughs> or high standards, I don't know. Demanding. Uh, demand. Oh, okay. You say you're very demanding. And uh, you're starting to, to suppose a lot of things. Oh, yes. <laughs> and that is uncomfortable. They control the weight. It is. Even, yeah, this is really, oh, you are thin or you are fat. <laughs> to say, get a yes. life. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I had a grandmother. She died. But um, 
I was 35, I think, and still in Christmas, she gave me $5. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, but you know, give me, give me here, here, here. Like a little boy, you know, but for $5, you know, I took him, like, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Grandma. <laughs> and don't tell anybody. Yeah, don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, let's listen to this. Let me see. Share sound good when we're here. So pay attention to what are they celebrating? How many people were there about? Which places does he mention people call from? Who is the first relative he mentions? Was at the reunion? Hmm, bad mistake right there. Who else besides relatives were at the reunion? Listen to this. Family reunion. A. Listen to Victor tell a friend about his family reunion. What were they celebrating at the reunion? Hey, Victor, you're back in town. So how did it go? Uh, it was great. I wasn't sure I was going to enjoy it, but it turned out to be a lot of fun. Was your grandma surprised? Completely. She knew we'd do something special for her 80th birthday, but she never expected that the whole family would turn up for a reunion. How many people were there? Lots. I'd say about 80 or so. Folks showed up from all over the place. We had people from Texas, Chicago, Florida, California, and even Mexico. I got to see people I hadn't seen for years, like Luann, my uncle's cousin. Actually, I don't think I've seen her since I was a little kid. Oh, and my brother Rudy was there with his wife and their new baby, grandma's first great-granddaughter. That sounds like fun. So was there anyone there you didn't recognize? Yeah, but that was okay because as soon as we got there, we each got a name tag showing how we were related to grandma. Like mine said, Victor, Anita's grandson. Hector's son. That's a cool idea. So you could immediately see how you were related to someone. Yeah, most people have changed a lot over the years. Plus, my mother-in-law came along because she hadn't seen any of these people since our wedding. So the name tags worked out really well. So were there other people like your mother-in-law? I mean, she's not really a relative. Oh, sure. There were quite a few people who weren't directly descended from grandma, like people's in-laws, neighbors, friends of the family. But their name tags said who they were and what the connection was. <laughs> Sounds like it must have been a lot of fun. I bet your grandma was happy. Yeah, really happy. All right. So what were they celebrating? The 80s. The 80s birthday. They were celebrating because of grandmother. 80th birthday. 80th or 88th? 80th. 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 80th
100%. Happy, I'm happy. Okay, next it says <clears throat> reading exercise. Read the following article and answer the questions. <clears throat> Let's read it. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six paragraphs. All right. Inmar, can you read the first paragraph, please? The first, okay. Yes. Mm, okay. I'm not sure about the, the why she's good, teacher. I'm sorry about the what? It looks blurry. It, it looks yeah. blurry. <laughs> What what about now? Yeah, yes, it's better. Better, yeah, it's better, teacher. Yeah. That's okay. All right, cool. Okay, walking mm. <laughs> walking to California, home of Annie Bells and her husband, Jim Silcock. 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 Yes, Silcock. Silcock, and it's walk into the California home. Walk into a uh, <laughs> and you see kids everywhere playing video games, doing homework, and getting ready for dinner. They are 80 boys and 30 and this 30, 30, yeah. sorry, 30 boys in this in this close night household. Close knit mm -hmm. household. Household? Household? Yes. And 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 uh, and 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 Bell is their mom. Bell has wanted to help children since she was a kid. I was intrigued. Intrigued, teacher. Intrigated. Mm -hmm. Intrigated. Intrigated, but the movie. Intrigued. I'm the sorry. Movie, Oliver. Intrigued. 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 In trade, but the movie Oliver in the sixties, six sixties, in the sixties, 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 a musical based on the Charles Dickens novel Oliver Twist. I told my mom that was I want to do. I want to adopt orphans. Okay, good. Questions. What is a close knit family? Dear mom. A close knit family, or a, a, it says there are 30 boys in this close knit household. Close knit, that means that they are very united. Okay. They are very, it's a close knit family. Do you have a close knit family? Sometimes. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. Case. Okay, good. In your case, yes. Okay. And um, that's very strange because imagine you have like 30 boys. And uh, so imagine you have like 40 people living in your house. And it's kind of difficult to be close knit. Okay, thank you, Inmar. Inmar, can you choose somebody else to read the second paragraph, please? Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, Ruth. Sorry. Okay. Ruth. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And it's boys range in age from three to 25. All of them are challenging in some way. They each have a special needs, physical, emotional, or at school, says Bells. She doesn't focus on what her kids can do, only on what they can. They can. They go to mainstream. 
mainstream schools, take karate, karate. Go skating at the rolling rink. Roller rink, rink. Rink and even act on television in an interesting twist. 13 of her boys are going to be in a local theater production of Oliver. Good. So can you imagine that they are challenged? Challenged. Mm -hmm. They are challenged mm -hmm. in some way. Okay, so that's a good way in English to say, um, I have a I have a child who is challenged or special needs. Okay. Hello. So you said Hi. the example was, I have a child that is challenged. Yes. And it refers to a special needs, but uh, like uh, it says either physical, emotional, or at school, yes. like mm -hmm. academics. Like yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, yeah, I mean, special needs, he needs or he's challenged. Which special means? needs would be more like disabled physically. Right. Mm -hmm. Challenged is more like mentally. I see. Disability. Disability. Like if you. That would be special needs. Okay. It's like a special attention or. Yes. What? Yeah. Yeah. You know, in Spanish, we say, Tengo un niño que es especial. And I think that's. Debería haber. Uh, like like a albracing. What happened to Albert Einstein? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's, on, <laughs> he's on disability, he has a disability, he may have a problem in the school. No, he didn't have disability. Albert Einstein was challenged. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But he never, I don't know, he has a problem in the school. Yeah, but <laughs> disability is really when so, you cannot do something physically. Like if you can't walk, that's disability. But, uh, I don't know, but uh, uh, physically, uh, but, but the Albert Einstein is emotionally. Yes, he was challenged. He challenged, yeah. Yes, it's true. Well, that's what people say. That's what, yes, he was a little bit challenged. But Albert, Albert Einstein was crazy, man. But the, the another another that is that the, I don't know what is the the physical is a what is the have no is an, an astronomy an astronomy or it, no it's a how the name of the home hospital hospital in United States what is the is a very genius but have a lot of disability. No, you know, know, people have a, some very smart people. How is a that the Hawking? Oh, Stephen Hawking. Anthony Hopkins. Uh -huh, yeah, oh, have a Stephen Hawkins. Stephen Hawking, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. When you say challenge, genius. when you say challenged, is um, you know what challenge is? There's a fear. There's a fear. Yes. So um, I was a little bit challenged in school. I remember when I was a little kid. I was never good with numbers. I hated numbers <laughs> with passion. Even now, I still hate numbers with passion. I think that it's called Math. dyscalculia. I'm sorry? Uh, that, uh, let's say, illness is called dyscalculia, when you have problems with numbers. Okay, I definitely I had that. This calculia. Thank you. I, I'm going to write that. Calculia. Yeah. I'm going to write that.
Yeah, so in that sense, I was this gun. In that sense, I was challenged. But um, disabled class is really when you're not able to do something. Okay. okay. So next it says, so we can finish. Let me see if I can finish it for you. Okay, third paragraph, it says, raising 30 boys is no small task. Every day, a small army of childcare, every day, I'm sorry, every day, a small army of childcare workers, nurses, and volunteers comes in to help cook and clean, wash 30 loads of laundry a day, and take care of health needs. Do you understand what is this no small task? It's not a small. What is a task? Tareas. Tareas. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's like a tarea. It's like a, mm -hmm. it's like your obligation, your routine. It's not a small task. It's a difficult task. Okay. Okay. To find out how much. A large family cost. We followed Jim Silcock to the grocery store. He spent $880 for food for one week. Every month, they spent $2,000 to run five minivans, $15,000 for 14 paid helpers, and more than $10,000 on dental and medical expenses. There's also clothing insurance and mortgage payments. Okay. The family receives $26,000 a month from the federal government and has some income from a family business. All the money is spent on the children. Having new clothes and fancy cars isn't important to Bells. How do kids feel? says 17 year old Anthony, the family is there whenever I need something. Under all this chaos, I feel like I am loved. This was my dream and everything about what I'm doing was everything I wanted to happen in my life, says Ann Bell. So absolutely no regrets, this is perfect. I couldn't ask for it to be better. Maybe a bigger house, you know, would be nice. Nice. Good people. Um, there are, the government sometimes pay you to adopt, when you adopt something, people in the United States, the government pays you. And that's why sometimes it's bad because sometimes some families, they just adopt children for the money. Sometimes in some cases, but in other cases, it would be, I think, I think in the Salvador, we should start adopting. That would be very nice. Teacher. Yes. I, I, I am, I am adopting a, a, ch a child. You're going to adopt a child? Yes. I, the, in fact, in fact, uh, the child, uh, the boy lived with me from he born and he has uh seven years old today he is he is seven years old yeah he is oh that's so good that's a um i have a question is it true it's difficult to adopt a child here the paperwork and it's a difficult but i um, my process is so difficult. Maybe I uh, seven years try to adopt him. And um, in fact, the the process uh, sure sure debería, debería llevar, should take uh, should take one year one year but at the pandemic the process is stopped 
No, I'm not. Yes. But the boy I, is with I, you. He lives with you. Yes. Yes. Okay, that sounds good. Uh huh. Yes, because the mo the mother gave me when when he born. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, wow, that's good. That's uh, yes, but make it legal. Yeah. Make it legal. Good yes. for you. Yes. Good for you. One time, I really wanted to adopt a kid. But um, then I, I was just thinking spontaneously. I remember I was in a bus with my mother and we were going to a field trip, excursion, field trip. And this little kid, he was maybe six. He got on the bus selling candies. He was a very cute little boy. But we were going to a taco, I think. And the little kid got on the bus and it's like one and two hours, he just by himself. And then in the bus, these two clowns came in and you know they started making jokes, the clowns. And that little kid was having so much fun. He was laughing. He really enjoyed it. And I said, oh my God, mom, can we take him? <laughs> you know, my mom, she says, man, I want to take that kid to my house. Because this kid was traveling from San Salvador to a taco in a bus, and he was maybe six. He was alone. I really, I always remember that kid, and we wanted to take him home, but it was like thinking spontaneous because, you know, my mom says we could get in trouble now. <laughs> but after that, I always said, I'm going to adopt someday. Also, what I want. It's a nanny, a babysitter, de la de Croacia, you know, so we can help them too. <laughs> that is not a good idea for your wife. <laughs> I don't think so. I told my wife, you know, we can, we, we can get those babysitters from Croatia. They, they want to come and help. There is a country, I don't know where it's in Europe, but you can... Um, you can go go and have babies there. <laughs> you get married. I don't know. It's, it's, I, I don't well, remember. I, right now, there's many countries in Europe where you could do that. Do you know why? I was reading it, that. Because it, there are all, all, all people there. There is no children. Yeah, there is no young people. Yes. And the problem is because... I was reading in Time Magazine one time that in Europe, like Holland and um, Germany, et cetera, people start having sex at a very young age, maybe when they are 13. The only difference from there to here is that there, when the girls start having sex, they start taking birth control, pills, injections, pills, injections. So by the time they are 35 or 40, when they want to have children, they can't. Well, the majority, because their body, imagine you've been on birth control 30 years. So they become sterile. And that's where the big business from um, adopting comes from. Because then they, they really all oh, men and the majority of them can't have babies. The majority, some can that's why adopting is a very good business. Or that's why when you get pregnant, the government really helps you. I have a friend that he lives in, um, he goes, no, no. Somewhere in Europe, I don't know. And for five years, his wife is not going to work. Can you imagine that for five years, the government will pay her her salary that she makes normally. They will pay the, the everything. For, for the kid, you know, wow, what are you gonna do? After the five years, I'm going to have another one. <laughs> it's a good business. <laughs> yes. Okay, class, thank you. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? You have a happy okay. Monday. Okay, oh, see good you. Night. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone.